on a playing perspective was uh, I think most people will know is the, the playoff final at Millennium Stadium I beat Sheffield United 3-0 the first time we've been in the, back in the top flight for 19 years or so so to play with all my teammates save a penalty in that was a great, great moment and uh, something I'll never, ever forget. I played under some very, very good managers and they've all been good and helped me in many different ways, but i say the one that I probably, you know, would say that takes it for me is, is Mick McCarthy. I thought they came into Wolves at a, a difficult time. A lot of the big hitters had gone. He rebuilt a squad of hungry young players, uh, managed the expectation, gave you the confidence to go and play, real sort of good chemistry in the team, got Wolves promoted, kept them in the Premier League for three years. Really, really is a great guy. Um, got the whole club galvanised from top to bottom. So, yeah, I think that, that Mick McCarthy would be the best manager I've played for. I've been fortunate to play against some excellent players um, and with some. I uh, played against the likes of Paul Gascoigne, Stephen Gerrard, uh, Alan Shearer, Gareth Bale, you know, all the, these sort of players. Um, Played with the likes of, you know, a lot of the boys of England, the 21s, you know, Jermaine Defoe, Carrick, Gareth Barry, some good, good players, Robbie Keane. Um, but I think the player that, you know, has gone on to have a brilliant career, made the most of his ability, had a brilliant career, won, just won his second Premier League title, he's won FA Cups, played for England in major tournaments, and probably affected the games the most when I played with them was Jolene Lescott. So, top, top player, top professional, top lad. And I say, because I played a lot of games with him, Paul Ince, Dennis Irving, I can name a good few, but Jolin would be the one that I say affecting the most games and I felt really, really safe when he was playing in front of me. Man, I've played with some real jokers over the years. Um, been, been around people like Jimmy Bullard on holiday but not played in the same team as him. I'd say the biggest joker has to be Steve Sedgley. Uh, you know, goes back a little bit, played with Coventry, Tottenham, Wolves, Ipswich, and when he was at Wolves, hilarious, hilarious guy. Some of the stuff he did was just, I, I can't explain, just always joking around, always doing silly little things. Most of them I can't say on camera, but he's, uh, yeah, funny, funny guy. That's silly little, like, superstitions. It, like, the one day he decided that he had Vicks on his fingers, so he, he licked the Vicks off his fingers. We went on and won. So because we'd won, he had to do that for the next <laughs> as many games until we lost. So for about four or five games in a row, he was eating Vicks before we played. Those sort of things that you just can't get your head around. Absolutely crazy guy, but lovely guy. Great character in the dressing room. So Steve Sedgley is definitely the biggest joker I've played with. Do you know what? When I was a young kid, I was an Everton fan because my stepdad was from Wallasey. So um, I got... On a, one Christmas I got the Everton goalie kit with the NEC on it, it was the first proper kit I'd ever had. So I was absolutely buzzing with that and I'll never forget as well when we were about, I've been at Wolves since I was nine, but when we were about 10 or 11, we started to play games for Wolves and the first time I ever put on a proper Wolves kit, that was a pretty special moment as well and you know it was all laid out for me in that and we played against other, you know, other centre of excellences but I'd say yeah my favourite kit has to be the uh, the Everton kit of probably 1980, probably about 1990, 1989, 1990 which Neville Southall used to wear. I just said Neville Southall there was a big big hero of mine, he's the reason I became a goalkeeper, so my stepdad was uh, Everton through and through so I used to watch the, uh, videos, they were then VHS videos of, of Everton playing, I thought Neville was one of the best goalkeepers there, he's just such a natural goalkeeper. So he's my hero. Obviously, I love watching the likes of Schmeichel, David James, Shaka Hislop, who I loved as I got older. But my first, my first footballing hero, Neville Southall. Met him once. Well, nearly made my debut against him as well. But the first time I met him was about 14, 15 years of age. Couldn't even talk. I was just like so in awe of him. So he can go any music star, TV star, I don't care. Neville Southall was definitely my first hero. Oh, wow. I mean, there's some players who've had real, real good careers. You're not sure exactly with injuries and, you know, obviously there's a few a bit of an age difference and all that now. Uh, best player certainly won't be Ian Taylor. There's no chance of Ian Taylor being best player on the day. But uh, I think someone like... Uh, <laughs> I might this might come to haunt me. This might uh, come to, to, come to uh, bite me some of the sport as a funny thing of doing that. But I don't know, you can't look past the likes of Darren Byfield or uh, Lee Hendry, who's still looking very, very good shape and still played pretty recently. So I think, uh, yeah, you, you, you've got to be looking at those sort of players, in my opinion. 
worse shape. Probably me with my knees. No, um, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I think Tails will be in the worst shape. He's definitely going to come worse. He's definitely going to come worse dressed. Ian Taylor will definitely come worse dressed to the event. That's 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 a sh without a shadow of a doubt. Um, yeah, so the worst shape. Yeah, Tails. He he's not the box to box player that he used to be. And uh, no, I, I don't know. I'm not sure, but uh, hopefully it won't be me. I'll be making sure I get in the gym. And uh, I don't know if I'll be getting down too well. And Tom Ross will be caning me, saying that I've got a bad back and everything else. But uh, look, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a great bit of fun. But I, I, I'm not sure who will be in the worst shape. Ah, good question. I um, I always I like animals. So when I was a young kid, I always used to think I might want to be a vet. But I don't know if I'm intelligent enough for that, and I would have had this, this stick ability to to go and, and complete a degree in that. So I think I did for my work experience when I was a young kid. I did uh, primary school teaching, but to specialise in the PE side. So I'd like to think that I would still have been involved in sport and maybe a PE teacher, you know, in a primary school doing all that side. But uh, yeah, specialising in the sports side of things. Join us on July the 12th for the Club Legends Cup. Buy your tickets now.